morning and happy Tuesday. It's 11 11 and my name is Mary Dew. This here is Johnny and Bear. They are the Zen dogs. Together the three of us come to you every day between now and the winter solstice at 11 11 a.m. Eastern for the Light of the Soul Meditation, our 40 day practice for fall of 2020. And today is day 20. And so it's very exciting landmark uh, milestone today. Today we are hitting the halfway mark in our meditation. We're halfway to the winter solstice, halfway to the completion of our 40 day practice. They say it takes 40 days to break a habit and so by doing this practice and dedicating and committing to 40 days, you're basically letting go of the resistance that you might have to creating a new habit and, uh, and creating a new meditation habit in the process. And I'm excited to give a shout out to all of those who have been here on this journey and dedicated themselves to this 40-day practice, including some people who are brand new to meditation. Uh, some friends from way back in my past in Texas even are participating in this meditation. So shout out to those folks and um, shout out to everyone who has had the courage to come to this practice. It's a very simple practice, intentionally simple. I hope you're finding it to be that. The idea being that by doing this simple practice, we make it a little easier on ourselves to come and do it every day. But collectively, as we practice every day for this 40 day period, we still build up uh, some resilience amidst any resistance that might be there. And um, just kind of building up the light at a time when the world needs a lot more light. And we spoke about it yesterday, but you know we're leading up to the winter solstice three weeks from yesterday. On the 21st, we have the winter solstice coming, and uh, this feels like a time of preparation for us to raise our frequency, our vibration, to the highest place we can get it to coming into the winter solstice, so that on the winter solstice, on this powerful day, this portal of change, we come in with a high vibration, which will be amplified by the winter solstice. And by uniting our energy together, uniting our light together, we create a light, a collective that is so much greater than the sum of the parts and a higher vibration that really can vibrate out in ripples and affect the entire human collective around the planet and affect the planet. So, some big ideas, but let's begin small with this particular practice today, staying inside, going inside, and finding your individual light, your inner peace, that we may collect and connect our own inner peace, our individual lights, and grow that of the collective. So we start our practice by first and foremost grounding into our bodies. So wherever you are, find a comfortable seat. I'm seated on the floor today. Looks like I've got a Johnny in my lap, so that's very grounding. I'm feeling my sitting bones connecting with the earth. If you're sitting with, in a chair, go ahead and place both feet on the earth. Take a moment to maybe roll the shoulders up and back a couple of times, releasing any tension. We have a tendency to hold a lot of tension in our shoulders, our necks. And then just drop in. Feel the connection of the right and left sitting bone connecting with the earth. If your feet are on the floor, feel the right foot and the left foot connecting with the earth beneath you. Close your eyes and roll them up to that third eye point, which is here between your brows and the middle of your forehead. And that third eye is the eye that sees on the inside sees past the duality of the eyes that see on the outside. So close your eyes, go to that place, that seat of your intuition at the third eye point, take a deep breath in, always inhaling through the nose deeply. As you inhale through the nose, draw the breath down deep into the belly, let the belly expand, the ribs, the chest, the lungs, the heart. 
rooting down through your sitting bones, reaching up through your crown of your head, slightly tucking the chin. And then exhale for this one, sigh it out your mouth, let something go. <sighs> and feel yourself grounded. Coming out of the ethers and into your body. Take another deep breath in. Inhaling through the nose, expanding through the belly, the ribs, the chest. And then exhale this time, exhale through the nose. But as you exhale through the nose, keep the length in the spine, draw the navel in to press the breath out. And see what that feels like. Feeling yourself in balance. The balance between the right and left sides of the body the right and left hemispheres of the brain, the front and the back of the body, the yin and the yang energy, the masculine and the feminine, the balance between the earth below and the sky above. And here you are, that conduit in between. Deep breath in. This one, visualize the breath coming in through your heart. Deep inhale through the nose, but visualize the breath coming into the heart. And as you exhale, Send it back out through the heart, clearing out that heart space, making room for the new to come in, releasing anything you don't need, and rubbing the palms together at the center of your chest in front of the heart. We'll press the palms together, pressing firmly in prayer mudra, bringing the thumbs into the heart center so the forearms are parallel to the earth, and we'll tune in together with the repetition of a mantra three times. The mantra is Om Namo Narayanaya. This mantra, Om Namo Narayanaya, calls upon the water element to bring us peace, peace on the inside, and in turn, world peace on the outside. As all hearts are in peace, the world is at peace. So take a deep breath into the heart. And exhale. Focus on the third eye point, eyes are closed and rolled up, deep breath in, deep breath out, pressing the palms together, and let's begin, deep inhale. Oh, no, without opening your eyes, allowing the backs of the palms, backs of the hands to rest on the knees with the open palms, a gesture of receptivity. And repeat to yourself three times, either silently or out loud, feeling this mantra vibrate through your body. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. Deep inhale, another deep exhale through the heart, and just take a moment and open to receptivity to what the universe might have to share with you today, and feel into your big, open, spacious heart space. For our meditation today, the light of the soul meditation, very simple meditation, bring the left palm to the heart center, right palm over the top. I am, swing the hands out to the sides, the light, swing them down and they cross in front of the heart center of the soul, swing them back down and around, and this time all the way up through your aura, reaching above, bringing the fingertips of all 10 fingers together overhead, Kind of in this globe of light, pressing each corresponding finger and thumb from the right hand to the one on the left hand. I am bountiful. Turn the fingers forward, shimmer the light down, moving the fingers. I am beautiful. Hook the thumbs together, push forward, all four fingers on each hand together. On each hand together. I am bliss. Let the fingers fall forward and curl under. I am. And then palms up, serve up that light. I am. I am the light of the soul. I am bountiful. 
bountiful press. I am beautiful. I am bliss. I am, I am. That's it. We do it for 11 minutes. 11 minutes allows us to take the brain waves from the more chaotic state into a more calm, more restful state, and we also relax the nervous system. The nerves begin to learn and change after 11 minutes. So let's do it. Take a deep breath into the heart, bringing the elbows to your sides, palms up, eyes closed, rolled up to the third eye point. Take a deep breath in, and let's begin.
receptivity, pausing here to listen, to open the heart to any messages from the universe today. Take a deep breath in and exhale and just allow that light to travel to permeate every cell of your body and radiate out around you from every pore, lighting up your aura, lighting up the magnetic field in front of your heart, providing you strength and protection as well as magnetizing that heart field to bring in all that you need in life to attract everything that you wish for, everything that you desire, 
Also sending out that vibration of peace. And also send out that vibration of gratitude. Within. So in these challenging times, I've noticed a lot lately that, um, wow, there's kind of an energy in the air of almost like a fog, a state of kind of confusion, maybe overwhelm from all of the information in the world right now. It can uh, really cloud your clarity. And so be aware of that and see if you can kind of lean back as, as an observer, be an observer of that rather than being stuck in that fog. And you can always come here to this place of meditation, this place of lighting up that heart space, clearing out that heart space. That will also help you clear the fog as we kind of clear out our cellular, cellular structure within us. You know, we're made almost 100% of water. They say that physically we're about 70% water, but molecularly, on a molecular level, like 99% water and that water is fluid that water is flexible that water can transmute and so allow it to carry that fog away and to help you find clear pure clarity within so we'll close our practice for today we did it day 20 we're officially at the halfway mark in our practice I'll be back again tomorrow at 11 11 a.m. Eastern time for day 21. But for to now, we'll close our practice. For now, we'll close our practice for today. Rub the palms together at the center of the chest. And we'll close with one long Sat Nam. Long Sat, shorter Nam. Sat Nam, I am truth. Truth is my essence. Really feel into your essence. Coming back into the heart space, close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point, deep inhale to chant the Sat Nam. Sat Nam Sat Nam Aho and Namaste. Have a great day. Blessings to all.